Sure glad I worked on my truck yesterday. It's been raining since early this morning. So I'm just grateful that I did it. Hello everyone, uh, YouTube land, YouTube world, YouTubers. Uh, I've got an emergency uh, brake repair to do on my pickup. Started grinding and it's the driver's side. I've already done the passenger side. Unfortunately, I couldn't do them both at the same time, which is stupid. But when you're that busy, it seems like uh, when you work on other people's vehicles, you never have your vehicle fixed, it seems like. Uh, so maintenance is, is uh, not priority, I guess, when it comes to my own vehicles, and it should be. And uh, the way I drive it every day, the way I have to depend on my truck, it should be number one uh, as far as my vehicles, because it's my money maker. But uh, like I said, I gotta do it now. Lack of maintenance. All right, I'm gonna do, loosen them all up. Get the jack. Under the truck. Yep, that's it. Oh, stinks when you need glasses. impact will mess some stuff up. Don't give it too many ugly duggers. You strip the ear lug nuts and studs. Get our own tea. That still look good. Yeah. Alright. Set up a little washer. Oh my gosh, look at that freaking rotor. I'm ashamed. Spacer. I'll just leave that there. Dang. Well, good thing I've got another rotor. <coughs> That's on there good. Dang it. Can't break it back. I'll break this stupid thing. Solid. This one impact. It's a bit short extension, maybe. Yeah, looks like. socket or wobble extension shorty with that deep socket and we're all right all right there's one
together. hard but had I used the right stuff in the beginning I did these a long time ago unfortunately didn't have the right kit boy since I've had it see that this needs to be wound back in I'm supposed to have a special tool for it and I don't have one but I'm gonna use a screwdriver or something to try to turn it now I have to go get it yeah it's turning all right it's not too bad Is that counterclockwise or clockwise? I'm not sure. That spring it out. Or not. this thing out. Okay, so it seems to be going the right direction now. I was doing it all wrong. And I actually have to use this to compress the caliper. I think I got it already. No, it's not moving at all. All right, but this is the way to do it, I believe, with this, not turning like I was showing before, which I feel really stupid now for doing that, but I took it apart Figured out it doesn't turn in or counterclockwise or anything, it just pushes right in. Just a regular compressor would work. The D dad right here. It'll work. Alrighty.
storage. Unfortunately, this didn't work out. Well, it looks like I might have one of the last driver's side front calipers for this model, uh, Datsun or Nissan um, 720. I've looked and looked around and I couldn't find one and I just happened to have one and I call my garage store, which I pretty much hoard a bunch of parts that I know I'm going to need later on. And luckily I had one. Don't mind that. Unfortunately, I had to drive it like that for, for a few days. All right, I'm running out of daylight here. Smells good, doesn't smell burned up, so that's good. I just packed these, so should be okay. Yep. There's that. There's some bolts I need to undo. Change the caliper out. I mean, the, yep, the rotor out. Alrighty. Let's see what size this is. These bolts holding it on. Sure, metric. Thirteen. store I call it my storage store. Prepare go try to be prepared for stuff like this. I always say you've got an old vehicle. Better board some parts. Have it ready when you need them. Especially if you use them every day like I do. Can't afford to wait or find them and find that they're not available any longer. I have been a lot of these things uh, the 720 dots and 720 uh, 82 dots and 720s parts are not available anymore 83 on up went to a different brake uh, caliper style one that you would see more today it's more common 
I went ahead and bought uh, some 83 up. Um, front disc brake setup with a more modern uh, rotor, caliper, and easier to find brake parts for. So one day I'm gonna update it. I know this is not the right way to do it. But that gets the bench against time. And uh, so it's going down. Start getting colder. <clears throat> Gotta get this thing ready for tomorrow. I need it. And of course, weekdays are beautiful. Weekends are crappy, cold, rainy. I don't get it. I just don't get it. So I bought, uh, there were ceramic pads, that's what I bought. So that's what's going in. All right, I'm gonna set the bearing. First finger tight. Spin it. Set it. Okay. Really, just gonna back it off of here. Definitely don't want these loose, but you don't want them too tight either. All right. Pliers had or issued to me in the military. So have them. We have a few of these actually. We get them when we deployed. And, uh, actually broke a set. Of course, using them for something they weren't intended to be used for, like cutting a penny or something, showing off. Broke the. Put the tire part of it off. I was cutting a bolt with it. Definitely didn't work. Alrighty. Should have blue, blue Loctite. Oh, 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 ouch. Or 
colors are red. So use the red or the blue. Loctite. Loctite. Very expensive for the amount that you get. Prouder there, Loctite. The blue. The red is for you're not going back in it. Blue is if you're going to go back in it one day. I'm going to do the red. I don't plan on going back in this sucker. I sure don't. All righty. No. Okay. Put the pads in. Get ready. Clean my hands up real quick. All right, trying to figure out how this goes here. Do dads here. this like that they're done like this I guess alrighty alright I guess it didn't come with the knee pins came with the cotter pin that goes to it but not the pin itself the pin I'm talking about Try to compress that 
piston in a little more. I don't get why this is so difficult. Just don't get it. I drove it the way I did for a while. I knew it was going to be paying the booty, but
Gravity, gravity bleed this brake set up. Alrighty, see what happens. Spin this down there. All right. Hopefully, once it self adjusts, it won't be so tight. Get the air out of it. reason why the brake bleeder is high is allow the air to travel from the bottom of the caliper to the top of it and releasing the bubbles. You never get the air out if it's opposite of that because the air will be trapped up top. You'll never be able to bleed it. So it fills in from the bottom, blows the air bubbles out from the top. Let's just grab it your feet gravity bleed right there. It's pure fluid there. Right. That's it for right now. Good enough for myself. Just hook my air bleeder to it. Bleed the whole system later. It's already tight. I have to break these pads in. The air bleed is a lot better than the one that took off. Put this cap on. that works. It's better than scraping brakes. That's for sure. All right. It's got top off the master cylinder, reservoir, rotor, brake pads and caliper.
Okay, well, all right, I'm still working on this. It's gotten dark on me. And uh, there definitely was a problem with why the wheel wasn't turning after I put the caliper on. I left the washer out and the bolt actually was too long uh, and it stopped at the rotor, the back of the rotor, so it kept the, the wheel from turning. <laughs> so that's all it was. I found the washer and I put it on and it's ready to go. Glad and ready to go. So my bad, my mistake. But that's all it took was a washer being uh, missing that let the bolt go too far that stopped the rotor from turning. So be careful guys and gals, look out. Don't leave any pieces out because it makes a difference. I know it's unorthodox. It's probably not the right way to do things, but I just don't have a choice. I have to do it like this just to get my vehicle running so I can use it for it. Thank you, everybody. Please like and subscribe if you like what you just saw. If you don't, don't like it. And don't subscribe or do it and just pick at me. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.